That wasn't so bad, was it? Being back at the Foundation? I could feel them staring at me, passing judgment, because I wouldn't let them separate me from my daughter. We're all just trying to do what's best for Faith. I tried to be open and agreeable. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Well, she's home now, where she belongs. What about you, Eric? Where do you want to stay? Where I'm wanted. What's that supposed to mean? Look! Hi, honey. Did you draw something? Let's see it. I drew it for you, Mommy. You don't like it? Mommy? Hello? Brent! I haven't heard from you. Are you okay? I've been trying to reach you. I called and... I'm not okay. Sounds like it. Why don't you share with me? There's so much. I mean, my mother died. That's no big loss. My little nephew went missing, and now my aunt seems to be dead. That's a lot. But I really need to talk about what happened with my father. He... You haven't burned yourself again, have you? No. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, that's good to hear. And have you had a drink? I wanted to, but I handled it. I poured it out. <laughs> I can imagine how well you handled it. It's sad, really. I bet you're staring at a full bottle right now. How did you know that? You're not fooling anyone, Brent. You will relapse. Who are you? We're all waiting for you to die. So go on and do it. Fuck you! Brit, are you home? Mama, come here. I have something for you. You will like it. I promise. <gasps> I thought this was your favorite. Go ahead and have a drink. What you want to do anyway, isn't it? Drink yourself to death. We could be together again. Shut up! There's only one way to make me go away. No. Have a drink. As I said, we can't find any medical reason for his behavior. We'll be discharging him in the morning, but you might want to consider taking him to a child psychologist. Come on, baby. Can you eat something? Please, baby. Is there nothing you'll eat? Even a bite? <laughs> Well, what about a chocolate bar? You always love those. Why don't we go see what they've got in the vending machines? Are you staking me out now? No, no, I'm just visiting some friends. A lot of craziness happening around town lately. Too many people hurt. I thought you'd have left with Orson by now. In the morning. Did you... Did you think about what I said? 
my apology. Yeah, I forgive you. I'm just too exhausted to keep fighting with you and if you really want to work towards something better together, I'm open to it. We don't have to be who you've always been. And we won't be. If you need anything, you can call on me. There's some discharge paperwork you need to sign. Faith, honey, why don't you go to your room? Mommy and Daddy need to talk. No, I want to play a game. It's not time for games. No, Mommy, I want to play. Faith, please go to your room. Yes, Daddy. You wanted to talk? I think it's best we end things now, before it gets any worse. Rachel, you can't seriously expect me to just walk away. You clearly need help. Look at you. I didn't do this as a cry for help. I did it to bring back our daughter, and it worked. If you can't understand that, then we don't belong together. Rach, help me understand. We can work through anything. I love you, Eric. But I can't stay married to you. Too much has happened. We'll still be great parents to Faith. Promise me you'll get help. I'm fine, really. I just don't want to argue anymore. I want us to be done. Then there's nothing more to say. I'm supposed to be back at the Foundation. Gulp it down. It will make you feel better. No! Leave me alone! You've asked for it now, girl! No, no, no! Well, if you won't hurt yourself, I guess I'll have to hurt you! Get away from me! Orson, go to your room. Now! Wait, what the hell happened? It's a mess in here. I... I didn't know what else to do. I... I wanted it really bad. But I had to stop myself. Wait, I'm really sorry I wasn't here. But I'm really proud of you. I know how hard you've been working in your sobriety, and it shows. But maybe just pour it out next time, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You want to help me clean up then? Where have you been? I took a walk to clear my head. Look, I... I don't want to talk about it, okay? Orson? Shouldn't you be in bed? You want me to read that to you? I don't know. You bit someone today, and I think you should just go straight to bed. <coughs> what the hell was that? Orson attacked his doctor today. Shit, Astrid. Why didn't you tell me? The doctor thinks he needs to be medicated. With what? Some kind of antipsychotic. Shit. Right. What if it does more harm than good? Oh, 
okay, I'll read it. But no more throwing books or biting. Oh, okay then. There once was a family of billy goats. An old goat, a mama goat, and a baby. That's not how I remember this story. Who needed to cross the bridge? That's... that's right, baby. Do you know this story? But there was a troll underneath. So the old goat, who was the most... treacherous? She crossed the bridge first and said, You don't want to eat me. My heart... My heart is covered in pitch, black like bile, festering, rotten. But I gave my hate and anger to the mama goat. Take our hate and eat it. Eat it up. Angel, I don't think you should be reading something like this. I could tell you the version of Billy Goat's gruff I remember. It's nicer. What do you think? You'd better not be going in there. What? Why? Is everything okay? I don't feel safe with her here. Wouldn't feel safe? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. If this is about my father's outburst at the memorial, I'm sorry. But he's not here. It's just me. No, this is about what you said to Jonas. I don't even know a Jonas. He told me you followed him after the meeting. Told him to start using again. What? I would never. Is this true? No, it's a lie. There's no way I'd say those things. I heard she got kicked out of the ice hotel for causing problems there too. Look, I really need this. Things have been really hard lately Jonas and... overdosed last night. What? I told you, I don't know anyone named Jonas. I'm sorry? But I think you should leave. Please, I need this. This has to be a safe space. You should find another meeting. Just go, okay? I'm worried about her, Rach. Faith's been acting strange ever since she came back. I know. It's like she doesn't want to be anywhere near me. I'm blighted. My words are woe. Well, my deeds are rot. But I am not lost. By hollowed blade I draw out my affliction. Where did you hear that? Who taught you to say those things? The lady in the woods! She taught me lots of things. Nora? The lady who brought you back to us? I'm not telling you! Faith, if you know something, you really need to tell us, sweetie. Rachel, you're upsetting her. We might be separated, but I'm still her mother, okay? Faith, why don't you go to bed? Mommy and Daddy need to talk. If we're ever going to find out why she's acting like this, we need to know who took her in the first place. I know, but push her too hard and she shuts down. We won't learn anything. Did you see what she was doing? Faith was performing a foundation bloodletting ceremony. She knew all the words, Rachel. <sighs> she's just like me. Rachel, did you teach her that ceremony? Are you serious? Of course not. Then who did she learn it from? That's what we need to find out. What about Nora? What about her? Don't you think it's suspicious that she just showed up at the Foundation with Faith? I guess so. I mean, 
They're keeping her locked up there until we're sure we can trust her. If she's the one who took her, who, who did this to her, I want you to find out. Even if she was the one who took Faith, she wouldn't just come out and tell me. Please, Eric, just try for Faith. But I gave my hate and anger to the mama goat. Take our hate and eat it. And when she comes along, you can gobble her up. Darkness coats my stomach. But when the mama goat came, she said I gave all my hate and anger to the baby. When, when he comes along... Gobble him up! Give me your hate and gobble him up! And... And so the troll ate his fill. Hate forms my branches, fear my roots. I am blooming. To suffer is to thrive in a grove of dead trees. Angel, where do you hear such things? The, the lady in the woods. Lady? What lady? She's coming for you. I know you're out there. You people have no right locking me up like this. I can't let you out. I answered all of your questions. I don't know what else I can do to get you to trust me. You still didn't tell me everything. Faith told us about the lady in the woods. Who? The woman Faith was with while she was missing. I have no idea who you're talking about. I swear, and I can prove it. I'll take you to where I found Faith. How do I know I can trust you? You can't. So just... Open the door, and we can find out how Faith survived out there. Or who this lady in the woods is. I need to think. Eric, wait. I'll be back. Eric! Eric! Is this you true? You better not be going in there. Okay. Jonas overdosed last night. This has to be a safe space. He told me you followed him after the meeting. I didn't. Start using I'm again. sorry, but I think you should leave. Just go! You know what? I get it. If you don't want me here, then I respect that. Good. Leave. No one deserves to suffer. We have another meeting later tonight. Just come back then, and I'll make sure you get the support you need. I... Thank you. Sobriety is hard enough as it is. No sense making it harder. Astrid? Are you here? <sighs> Figures. I look like shit. What the hell? Having him back, we'd all be okay. Orson's been through so much, Astri. You can't expect him to come out of this unchanged. But this... He's not acting like my little boy anymore. It's not just him. Everyone is acting so strangely. 
running around spouting nonsense. Does the lady in the woods mean anything to you? Nothing comes to mind. Why? It's something Orson said. I think he's trying to tell me who took him. Astre, I want you to be careful. I don't want you to end up like your father. What do you mean? He lost your mother, and then Orson went missing. Meta. It was too much. It broke him. I don't want that happening to you too. I'm afraid it's already happening. I just want you safe. Thank you, Leo. Really. Britain, I don't deserve you. Shit! I almost forgot about the visit from Orson's social worker. If she sees Orson like this, she might take him away. His doctor thinks sedatives could help, but I don't know. You want my opinion? Sure. If it were me, I'd be asking myself which is more important. Keeping him safe or him getting better. Faith, mommy wants to ask you some questions. <laughs> Do you remember anything from when you were gone? Honey, are you listening to me? Faith, listen to mommy. Eric, is that you? Who's there? Go away! Rachel? I was hoping we could talk. What do you want, Xavier? Believe it or not, I do care about how you and Faith are doing. Is that all? There might be another reason. Well? I've always tried to live up to the ordeals embodied by Paul Radcliffe. But being a realist was never one of them. With a mission like ours, I... Suppose I've always found more solace in unbridled optimism. But I'm tired, Rachel. The withering, it gnaws at my mind. And nothing we've tried has been able to stem its spread. Xavier, what are you saying? I... I don't know if it can be undone. What? We must prepare for our ascension. Xavier, you cannot do this. You would be forsaking countless people, leaving them at the mercy of those things. I'm preparing the path to our salvation, Rachel. To a new world prepared by the purifier, free of blight. What about our friends, our families? I've chosen Faith to be an aspirant. The child is special, Rachel. Her surviving the withering was nothing short of miraculous. And what about me? Only the purest among us are chosen to become aspirants. You know this. But that's why I'm here. I want you with me too, Rachel. I want you to rejoin the Foundation. I know I reacted harshly when you took your eye. But deep down, I saw what it really was. A commitment beyond even my own. Xavier, so much has happened. I don't even know where to start with this. The withering will soon consume everything in this town. And then the world. Let me spare your family. Nora, you there? 
No. I stepped out for lunch. Of course I'm still here. What do you want? What street did you grow up on? What? You said you're from here, right? Over on Derry. You know it? Yeah, I know it. My buddy Toby and I used to get into trouble at a bar over there. The Tacoma? Yeah. I used to grab drinks with my brother there after he got off work. Or before... you know. Stand back from the door. Are you finally letting me out? Just... stand back from the door. And keep your hands where I can see them. All right. You're free. That's it? Go. Before I change my mind. I can't fucking sleep. That's... Guess you can't either. You suddenly have an interest in local folklore? Does the lady in the woods mean anything to you? No. Where'd you hear it? It's something Orson said. Orson spoke? A little. Yes. There was a book. A strange version of Three Billy Gold Scruff. I shouldn't have read it to him, but... I did. What do you mean? There's a... a darkness to him, Britt, that I can't explain. And he said he wasn't alone out there. What? Who? He called her the Lady in the Woods. It sounds like something from a fairy tale. That's why I've been looking through old folklore. Orson wouldn't tell me anything more, and after all the weird things I've seen lately, I was hoping I could find some kind of clue in these books. And did you find anything? No. I don't know what else to do, Britt. Maybe she's real. What do you mean? People have been seeing things around town. Like this woman everyone thinks is me, doing these horrible things around town. At first, I thought people were making shit up. You know, messing with me. What does this have to do with a lady in the woods? What if they're the same person? I don't know. Think about it. Ava? Now Papa? Everyone's hated our family for so long. This woman could be trying to destroy us once and for all. Orson said, To suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. He never spoke like that before. It must have come from her. Astrid, this is all too weird. Almost like an episode from Nils's podcast, Weird. Astrid, no. Oh, come on. Nils is a conspiracy nut. If anyone would know who the lady in the woods is, it would be them. Did you forget what happened between us? You were friends for so long. Yeah, right until Ava shot them. We haven't talked since. Why don't you go talk to them? I can't leave Orson alone. Nils used to be so into you. Maybe if you just apologize, they would help. It's going to take more than an empty apology. Then offer to give them an interview. Try to fuck them, I don't care. I just need help. 